you want hospitals too? I feel like hospitals are a good idea as well. I really want that one. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That is something that I do want. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Frostpunk, and I'm losing count exactly how many this is. Might be five. Feels like five. Probably five. But I'm glad to have you here. And uh, we are doing pretty well so far. 79 weeks in, uh, about a year and a half, uh, almost exactly, into this game so far. Our population is booming 70%, which is fantastic. Um, I can't tell if this means that at 100% we're going to get the progress growth or if we're going to continue to get, you know, whatever it is. But on the last one, we, you know, found out about new expeditions, which was really cool. Um, and we started to understand a little bit more of the logistics of laws and everything else in the game. I'm hoping in this one to start getting our resources a little bit better. Um, and we're going to see what's going on over here in this frozen bay area. Uh, as we showed in the last game, or last episode too, like, look how freaking big this map is. I mean, we're not even close. I don't even know where home is now. Where, where is this? Uh, lost. Okay, no, we found it. I saw something like F drags you there all the way, but like, for real, you can't even see the city. This map is huge. I'm really interested to see what else we are going to find out there in the frozen wastelands of Frostpunk 2. But um, please, you know, let me know so far what has been your favorite part. Uh, we're a couple episodes in, and I want to know, what are you guys enjoying so far? What are you not liking? Are you liking the laws? Uh, are you not liking the, the way the laws have been done? There are a lot more choices in the game this time, uh, that are impacting people. So, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe as always, because it does help. And it means a lot to me. Let's move on. Here we go. Colder seasons. Wow, I picked the perfect time to the restart because we are cold again. The frost is here. Uh, so they did bring back the announcer, which is interesting. New passive posed by the Frostlanders. So that increased. Man, they're getting the Frostlanders are getting smaller though. The new Londoners are really getting a lot more people, which is interesting. We'll have to see what happens with that. Um Okay, so let's focus on this. What are these hubs exactly? Um, I think I want to do. So what are we struggling with? We're struggling with everything. Um, so let's do resources. What is this? Weather adjusted shifts to protect worker health. Workplaces must adapt. So, uh. Production efficiency is decreased. Heat demand. The district southern housing is decreased. I'm not loving that. Machine-centric shifts. Workforce requirement is decreased. Squalor is marginally increased. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Okay. What else do we got here? Sawmills. Um, okay. Material outputs nothing there really so it's basically gonna genuinely be between squalor and disease so what seems to be happening here um unlocks the excessive fertilization district ability which increases food output and disease Ugh, not great um okay so this does it for all of these interesting filtration towers moss filtration towers okay Squalor significantly decreased. Okay. Um, okay, more injuries. But squalor is significantly decreased. Okay, I don't think we have a... Do we have a squalor problem at the moment? Um, stable. Growing concern. Disease is minor. Hunger is stable. Crime. Okay, so good scarcity is not great. Okay, what about these factories? Salvaging factory. D 
Diseases slightly increase goods or output more. Okay, that's not bad. I don't hate that. Um, I think... Dude, I just generally agree with mechanical factories. Dude, this is tough. This is really tough. Um, do we want hospitals too? I feel like hospitals are a good idea as well. I really want that one. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That is something that I do want. Uh, because then we increase the amount of people that we can get. This just seems like a good idea. We're going to do that one. Sorry, guys. Sorry, but not sorry. Okay, so we've got one week left until we get to propose the expedition support, which we will do. We will do it, Frostlanders. You may think we're not going to do it, but we will. So let's increase this just a little bit so that we can get to... Oh, can we do it already? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I can do this. Um, let's do the expedition support because that'll make them happy. Let's do that. Oh, man. This one is not going to be easy, though. Is there a way? Okay, I can negotiate. Uh, against their worldview has active promise. Okay, new Londoners. How do I get you guys to do this? So... Uh, so this is a law, this is a community action. Let new Londoners choose the next law to be voted on on the council. That's rough, but okay. Machine-centric shifts, puts less pressure on workers. Okay. I was kind of wanting to do that one anyways. I'm going to be honest. Um, I think, I think, me thinks we might do that one. Or this one. Mass-produced goods. In order to overcome scarcity, we will organize our production lines to increase goods production. And this one goes towards progress. Now, oh, is it not going to show me the progress stuff? Uh, okay, what is this trying to tell me? Cold, we know about. Okay, we got all that. Uh, okay, so what does this do exactly? Expand our extra... I'm um, sorry, I know this is slightly off topic, but I did. I am curious about that one. Mindful that housing districts have no building slots upon construction, contrary to what it says. Why you need to expand? Okay. Okay, we know that. Uh, that's from earlier, so we don't need that either. Um, are there more factions? Doesn't look like it. Wait, there is. See, there's four. There's a fourth that'll be coming in. Interesting. I wonder who it's gonna be. Um. Okay, so we're just gonna mark these as red. Because I want to be done with that. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. So let's get rid of that. I really need to get... They're mostly against this. So I really gotta get them to agree on this one. Oh, that's so dangerous. I don't think I'm going to give them that kind of power. I think we're just going to do this. That'll get this law supported. Okay. Let's do it. That'll get me one of my promises kept, even though it gives me a new promise for them to do. The proposed law has been approved. Uh, at least we have multiple parties instead of just two. <laughs> um, okay. Anyways, Frostlanders demands met. The Frostlanders are delighted you kept your word. They now look upon your rule more positively. Consider your leader with integrity. Good. A new law oh, they really like me effect. now. Okay. So everybody now, except for the new Londoners, really likes me. If I'm sent out there, I'll return as a frozen body. Well, you may not return at all. So how do you feel about that? Uh, I'm not following anyone down this path. I refuse. Okay. Get over it. Mass produced goods. Who would ever agree to that? Everybody else, basically, except for you guys. Users. Okay. Uh, all right. So I gotta put this here. I guess I just put this there. Okay. Frozen to death. Uh, that's not great. 
Even though we have a ton of people, I would prefer that you guys not do that. So I'm just gonna build this new housing district now, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, we're already near housing, so why wouldn't I just do this? I see it, I see. Let's go around. Let's bring it around town. You know what? Wait, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Good, 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 good. See, look, we're building a new, a new road, or a railway, or whatever you want to call it. But we're gonna get these people in their homes. And then, do I have enough people? Nope, not yet. To do that, because that is something I'm gonna need to do. There's a lot of, lot of fertile ground over here that I think we're gonna have to take advantage of. Shallow iron vein, and then we'll need to do this because then we'll be able to get more of those people that can go out and do cool stuff. So, all right, let's start moving quickly here because we're just about out. And this is going to run out here, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Can we expand? Oh, we can this time. Yes. Let's do that. And we might as well just do that. Okay. Good news, good news, everybody. We're going to have new housing, and we're going to have new ore mines. So you guys won't be as pissed off at me anymore. Look at all this coal we're about to find. Yay, us. Yay, coal. Look at that. 427 weeks of coal left. Okay. What's going on here? Rayborn, 32-year-old scout, daring to dream. We have a council, but will anything actually change? For years, the faith keepers have just had their way, okay? But if this is a chance to block some of their idiotic ideas, we could show the city reason. Convince them to adapt to the frost, to embrace this new ice age, and tear ourselves away from our addiction to the generator. Probably not a bad idea. I'll speak with the others tonight. Those who disagree with the Faith Keeper's views gather and discuss how they can change the city. Oh, we got a new uh, faction. There it is. Officially recognized by the city. Evolver delegates will be joining the next council session. Okay, there's the announcement. Officially, the Evolvers. So that's the new group. 550 Frostlanders have organized in a faction. So Frostlanders are losing people left and right right now. These Evolvers prize cold rationality, personal achievement, and adaption to the Frost by any means necessary. They dislike blasting coal mine and all, all do maintenance. Well, that's good. Uh, adaption, merit, and reason. The whiteout year is proof. We cannot rely on machines. We must prove. Coddling failure breeds weakness. We must instead reward accomplishment. We must reorder all facets of life with clear minds and cold hearts. Train workers, community, the evolvers will train workers to drastically increase productivity. That's good. Um, treatment, assistment, evolvers will periodically heal. Okay, so they're pretty good. I like them. Durable goods and mandatory school. Okay, so they want to be even more. Oh, actually, wait. Here is our council chambers right next to the generator good news okay so people are not seeming too pissed off at the moment that's ideal so let's say these two are like the bigger factions so the frostlanders okay so the new londoners and the frostlanders are like the actual like people it seems like i know i read this already but i'm making the connection now and then these are the actual new factions so i wonder if there will be another faction it feels like there might be I don't know, but nobody seems to hate us, so that's good at least. All right, population growth. Um, combination of outsiders coming to your city. Population reaches a certain threshold. Population census will take place, noting an increase in your overall population. Okay, favorable situations. Increases population growth, however. Uh, I feel like we already know this, so that's good. Did we get to the 100% yet? Not yet, but we should be getting there soon. Um, okay, so this is almost done. Uh, we have three days until we can do another council session, which means we're going to probably have to do that here shortly. Um, I'm going to expand this new one. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, there. And there. Okay. Because that should finally give us enough shelters, which is good. 
This is what we needed. Uh, this coal mine is now gone. So, bummer there, but that's okay. We'll demolish that for now. Um, oh, 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 they're, they're here. Okay. So let's pause and see what we got going on here. In a cavern near the bay, we found a disturbing sight. Bodies in sturdy frostland gear neat, neatly laid side by side and left to freeze. With black oil markings over their closed eyes. Ugh. Uh, a ghastly burial ritual? A map we found suggests they were heading to an old machine somewhere by the desolate coast. A machine would require a source of fuel. We should investigate. Okay. That's creepy, but all right. Fishing village. A community of Frostlanders are eking out a pitiful, I was going to say eking, eking out a pitiful living off moss and small fish. Ew. With no furnace, they survive by sleeping shoulder to shoulder under thick layers of fur. They would undoubtedly prefer to live in New London. Okay, well then, let's go take them in. We need more peeps. Yeah, let's just go do that now. Um. Oh. Yeah, I kind of want to do that, but we got to wait still because I need more people. All right, so what about this desolate coast? Over the years, there were sightings of nomadic people roaming this area. Even if true, it is unlikely they would have survived so long on... Oh, this may be where those peoples are. Okay. Uh, this is going to be where oil is. Nice. Okay. We're definitely launching an expedition. Thank you, Ruth Simeon. Yeah. We're definitely going to have you do that. So we got food and coal here, which is good. We're going to need another group to come over here. So can I go back to New London, please? Okay. Thank you. All right, so we need another way station. Looks like we should have one there. I'm going to uh, propose that we get to this way station as quickly as possible. So, uh, what is this? Frozen forest, build a logistics district here to access the Frostland. Uh, okay, we will probably do that shortly. This looks like that's an infinite source of stuff. I don't know exactly what that means though yet, but we'll figure that out. So I need the quickest way to here though is gonna be the bigger question. So it looks like we're further out here. So we're gonna do that. I'll grab these on my way. I know, probably not the best idea, but that's okay. Okay, so we're close. I really wanna get there so we can do more stuff. Um, all right. Council law to propose. Uh, survival. Now, this is... Um, so this is what we agreed to. This law is supported. Now, I don't have to negotiate with anybody. I won't owe anybody anything. Let's just get this one done with. Oh. Oh, wow. We got a lot of people on this one. That's good one of our highest votes yet outside when they voted on me so yay me and them okay uh, thank you new Londoners I'm glad that you now like me okay let's continue on here. Has passed in the council take <laughs> pump out those goods we need more of them yeah you're right the quality of our limited goods will decrease with this law well look there's only so much we can do uh, assigned research increases relations. Okay, well, that's good. All right. Uh, yeah, we need heat stamps. How do I get more of those? Plus 13 a week. From the population. Uh, okay, so we need more goods. So that'll be what we'll be doing next. Everybody here is really liking me at the moment. Except for the Evolvers. And the new Londoners. Uh, um, okay, so this is done now. All right, now we should be able to continue our way right along to there. There we go, nice. All right, and that'll probably provide shelter, I would think, later. So let's start making our way back along here. Okay, because I really want to get to that way station. I think that that would be a very good idea for us, because we really need some freaking coal, and I need to send somebody over to that area to do so. 
But we are about to get some heat back, which will help a lot. Um, hmm. Man, are we really like this close to running out of coal, huh? Yeah, we're not necessarily doing great on that, are we? Okay, recovery hospitals. Those are good. But the demand is too high for right now. We can't do that. Oh, no. Why did the shelter... Oh, because we got a ton more people. Okay, that's good and bad. Good and bad. Um, all right. Well, we need more food. At least I got that going. So let's just do this. We might as well. Uh, okay. Why are these so big? Okay. All right, let's do that for now. I don't love... I, I, I wonder if I can, like, redo the districts in the future. That's going to be something we're going to have to watch for. Let's see. We're going to speed things up just a wee bit. Oh, okay. So we got there. Never mind. Slow down again. Let's get this logistics district over here. Three, four, five, and six. Unfortunate, but we're going to do what must be done. Maybe we can sneak some housing in there later. So, dude, this, this city is going to be huge. Like, this entire freaking area. At one point or another. Which is wild. That is that is pretty crazy. Um, all right, let's do some idea treeing. We still need resources, so let's get these factories going. Okay, so these guys are all kind of doing their own thing. These evolvers. Um. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll make them happy. Let's do that for them, specifically. Tension, severe cold. But what? It's about to not be cold. Very soon. Or a lot less cold, at least. Sue Miller, 12 years old street urchin, looking for trouble. Cindy's pa went and got her a governess. Like she's going to be a duchess or something. Not on our watch. We roughed up the little bitch, all right. Wow, okay. Ferguson's boys will learn this too if they try and wife us t again tonight. Ooh, okay. Uh, we'll pull razors and say we'll cut out their eyes. It'll be good fun. But what's we want, what we want is a proper rumble. Short blades only? Come on, who wants to play? The lack of law regulating childhood is causing tension to rise throughout the city. Okay, well, that will be the next thing that we'll work on then is the children. How do we keep the children entertained so they don't kill each other or cut each other's eyes out? Can't say I was expecting that to happen, but okay. All right, we're in a warmer season at least for a few months here, it looks like. So that's good. For almost a year, actually. Okay, so that's great. Even better. Sorry about you people dying, genuinely. But, uh, yeah, not much I can do about that at this point. All right, so we got our new food supply is going. Let's see what's going on here. A broken vow, city development effort. What? Seward, the new Londoners are furious that the city development effort law is no longer enforced. They wish you to remind you of the vow you swore to enact this law. Oh, crap, I forgot to do that. Oops, okay. Um... Keeping this vow earned you significant goodwill with their members. Breaking it now has pushed them towards hostility. How do you wish to respond? Um, 15 weeks to the store this law. Um... Hmm, can I not see down here yet? I want to know what I... I don't know what this means. Crap. Wait, yeah, no, I do want that. Wait, why did I do that? I did not mean to do that. Okay, so we got we got some time to do that. Maybe. Oh, the new Londoners are pissed. Okay, crime. Um. Okay, yeah, we know this already. 
We need more goods. I understand that. I'm working on it, bros. Yeah, man, keeping people happy is tough in this game. Okay, was this the prefab, right? Okay, that's fine. We'll get rid of that and put something else there. Hopefully. Probably. We'll see. Um, okay, so we're almost done with all this stuff. All right, cool. So now we got a new group that we can send out. So we got 20 people. So I'm going to send 10 over here for now. Because I'm going to need them. Now, these people are very close to being done here. So we'll just deal with that in a little bit. Okay, we continue on. Why did the city development log get so messed up? I don't remember that happening. Yeah, wait, why did this get... Oh, there's multiple things. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. People are going to be pissed. Crap, I can't keep both of them going at once, I don't think. That's interesting. At least this passed. The proposed law has been approved. All right. So... All right, hopefully these people are not going to get pissed. Okay, performing sermons, great. Yeah, let's uh, let's get the trust going here. A new rule enters into force. Um, yeah, this is this is problematic. Okay, so we got that law passed, which is good, but. Uh, Glad that they're doing stuff to make people happy. Thank you for that. But it does feel like the tension is very high right now. So we're going to have to pass something for the children here shortly. Otherwise, people are going to be really upset. Because we are getting low on everything else at the moment. So let's go see what's going on out here real quick first. Uh, we'll start from the top. Mangled cart. Among debris in a mangled cart, we found an old navigation log. We can't wander forever. If we can only get through this canyon, then we can set up a permanent base next to the oil. Okay. The cart holds a large number of coals. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, they'll be available later, so we're definitely going to do that. What about this? The old dreadnought. There it is. There it is, guys. A ruined machine lies across the, a crevasse. Uh, wagons spilled into the nearby snow. There are clear signs that people have come and gone from the site, even storing goods here. But what amazes our scouts the most is the huge quantity of readily available oil. Yay, we found oil. Let's build a new colony here, which we already had done in the prologue. Maybe that was the point. It's maybe we're going to do something new here this time oil tombs on the broken shore lies an old derelict dreadnought it seems to have been upgraded to run on oil as it rests besides rich deposits perhaps the site was a refueling station but deep in the black pools lie rows of frozen bodies wrapped in shrouds and placed in the still wells our scouts shudder at the site yeah, i would too these oil deposits would surely resolve our, or solve our fuel needs, but we would have to desecrate these graves to access all of them. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but you guys are going to have to move these bodies. Okay, oil will save the city, but we need to adapt our generator to use it. In the meantime, we need to establish a reliable supply. It's time we settle beyond New London. Create a colony at the old dreadnought and connect it with a solid trail to New London. Only then can supply be assured. That's fantastic. Okay. What's this last one here? Oil cistern. A tanker filled with oil hangs in a narrow crevice. It will be dangerous to extract without specialized equipment. So we'll come back to that later. Okay. So big deal here uh, in this Game of Thrones looking map that I'm just remembering. 
Uh, we were able to find oil, and uh, we found the remnants of our old place that we were making over there. So that's interesting. Uh, we get more areas here, too. The mountains, the meadows, the graveyard, oof, and the approach. So still a long way to go here, as I said. Uh, this map is huge, so I'm very excited to see where we're going to go from here. But um, could I rename this city, I wonder? No, I can't. Wait, can I? No, I can't. Okay. Anyways, um, I don't know, guys. This this is this is crazy. This is this has been really interesting and really fun so far. So I hope that you guys uh, have enjoyed it so far. Again, let me know in the comment sections if you have. Please like and subscribe um, if you are following us on this adventure. We are going to continue to build out New London and establish some new colonies. It sounds like hopefully here on the next episode. And like I said, I got to get everything at home in order probably before I settle out there too far but um yeah I think that's gonna wrap it up for us so with that guys I'll catch you on the next one